while you use your, your online sources and your mobile to do things on the lots, they still won't replace somebody actually physically taking a look at something and verifying. So in this case, the idea here is you may do all of your homework leading up to an auction or a sale, uh, just as retail customers do. You'll actually hit the ground, verify what you've seen, and the more trust that's built into that process, the quicker that process becomes. And that's what you saw over the years with online in the auction industry. It became a, a trust category. How much can you trust what you're reading online? As that trust grew, you know, again, through buybacks and things like that, that leap of faith became smaller and smaller. So it's kind of the same. We, we always had the white tourist statement. You could have 10,000 white tourists. They're all exactly the same, with the differentiation being their actual condition. And that's where you get into subjective territory. And analysis will never give you an exact statement. What is a scratch to you may be just a ding to me. So until there's some kind of standardization in, in how we say things and present them, it'll always be a challenge. And you'll always have human validation as a part of it. <laughs>